Our next guest is a strange and very funny man who plays the strange and possibly even insane pastor of a megachurch in season two of The Righteous Gemstones. Do you want the power of the Holy Spirit in you? Gemstone Sundays on HBO. Please welcome Eric Andre. How you doing? I have to say, I think you might have a career in preaching or wrestling or something. Oh like yeah, that. it's all the same. Yeah. Oh, can I say <laughs> I can't say Can I start over? <laughs> uh, I think you'll be all right. Televangelists are just WWF wrestlers. Did you know much about that world before nothing. you did this? No. Nothing, nothing. Did you dive into it and watch? And I did, yeah, Danny McBride gave me a bunch of preachers. There's a guy named, there's Benny Hinn. Yeah, the Benny famous Hinn. one. He does the Mortal Kombat fatalities on people. <laughs> the Hoyukins. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Can I tell you something about Benny Hinn? He's been on forever, like since I was a teenager. <laughs> and I used to look in the TV guide and I'd see Benny Hinn and I thought it was a, a misprint and Benny Hill was on the air. <laughs> and disappointingly, it was never Benny Hill. Classic, yeah. classic mix up. <laughs> There's a guy, Creflo Dollar, I studied. I don't know that one. It, they got cooler names. There's another guy like Bojangles, OJ Simpson or something. <laughs> <laughs> they all got cool wrestler He's names. very good, I understand. Yeah, he's one of the best. <laughs> one of the best. So you watch these guys, and then you got like you got the rhythm. You got a little bit of the Holy Spirit in it's you. It's just Macho Man Randy Savage. Right? <laughs> it's like, this Sunday in church, Macho Man, Hulk Hogan, No Holds Bar, WWF. Cage match. It's all Alex Jones Infowars. <laughs> Infowars. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Alex, I think Alex is going to think we're cheering for him. Oh, I, I see you've been working out. Very smooth. Is that shaved or I is shaved that? Shaved for this entire audience. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's nice. You know, a lot of guests won't do that. You, uh, so you're working with, what a great cast, Danny McBride, Walton Goggins, who else is on the show? Jason Schwartzman, John Goodman. John Goodman's a legend. John Goodman wow. is, uh, yeah. Total sweetheart. He's and a funny guy, because he kind of takes you a minute to, like, figure out whether he, he's mad at you or not, right? <laughs> kind of? He's, he's a little hard to read, but he was so sweet to me. He's, he's, he loves Howard Stern, so he just asked me, he's like, you really... You really rode the Sibian? I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm the first guy to <laughs> ever ride the Sibian. That's the how you Sibian, bonded? And how do I tell your audience what that is? No. Well, uh, I think if they don't know, it's probably for the best, right? <laughs> when one woman and one machine love each other very much. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's kind of like, it's kind of like the rodeo gone wrong, I think is the best <laughs> way to describe it. I think you're it's probably the sexiest mechanical bull a woman's ever met in her life. You're probably the only man uh, uh, to ever ride one on the first radio. Man. I'm the first, yeah, first man. man to ride the Sibian on the yeah. radio. Yeah. That's quite a credit. I hope yeah. that's on your Wikipedia page. <laughs> so, it should be on my tombstone. So this show is set in South Carolina, because Danny lives in South Carolina, and he's yeah. like, let's do it here. <laughs> Did you like being there? I loved it, man. I got so fat. Okay, so here's my, <laughs> this was my fat life. So I purposely gained weight for the fifth season of my show, The Eric Andre Show. Uh -huh. And then as soon as it wrapped, thank you, I'll take it. I'll take the two sincere ones and the sympathy ones afterwards. I'll take the whole wave. So I, I got fat for my show on purpose. Uh -huh. And as soon as I was going to lose the weight, uh, uh, pandemic started. And at first, remember, pandemic was just going to be a month or something. So I was like, whatever, pina coladas in my bathrobe for a month, baby. Who cares? I'm not losing weight now. <laughs> and then stretch to six months, eight months. I'm just like in my bathtub, eating hot Cheetos, drinking white Russians. I look like the caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland. I just like <laughs> six tits like a dog. And I'm like, when will this end? <laughs> and then 
Right, and then I got vaccinated. And I was like, I'll lose the weight now. <laughs> then Danny McBride goes, come do Righteous Gemstones. We film in the least healthy city in America, Charleston, South Carolina, where all the food is so delicious, but it's all like deep fried crawdad, butter battle, bubba gump shrimp with little bourbon on top. <laughs> so I was like, what am I playing? A Texan preacher? Like, I'm just gonna stay fat through the entire <laughs> run of the show. And that's why I look like uh, Gaddafi's death footage. In every <laughs> You're being very hard on yourself, I think. Yeah. Well, thank you. I did, I tried intermittent fasting, but I, I was too hungry. It didn't work for you? I was too hungry. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, you get hungry is the thing. I was hungry. I did, and I, then I did the new map. That's what got me back on. I don't know about that. You count your calories, everything you put in. Oh. You, every little cookie you eat, you type it in. And now I'm like Kumail oh, the Nanjiani. New, the new app. Oh, I see. <laughs> coming for you, Kumail. <laughs> Kumail should have an app. Look at this. Look at that. Where's the Kumail app? Kumail's working on an app. Don't worry, he's got his guys from Silicon Valley working on it right now. He does. You um, are also in Do the- I take over the show too much? In the Jackass boxes? movie. No, it's fine. Should people... I commit to that shtick anymore so I grow up? <laughs> people are, are enjoying it. You are in the Jackass I movie, am. which I would guess that that is something that excites you very, very much, given your age and your inclinations. Oh my God, they raised me. They shaped my world. Did they I really? Love the, yeah, they're my, they're my dad. Did they call and ask you to be in this? <clears throat> they called, they asked me to be in it. It was like the quickest I've ever said yes to a project and then immediately terrified because <laughs> being on a jackass set is like, it's like the Vietnam War of comedy. Like every step you take is a, a, a real landmine or an explosive, <clears throat> excuse oh, me, really? could be underneath. <laughs> and I got there at like 8.30 in the morning, and the very first thing I did was go to the restroom, and a porta potty is a <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> right. under the like I said, they, ex they detonated an explosive under the porta potty <laughs> while I was urinating at like 7.30 in the morning, and I ran for my life, but it was like the greatest moment of my that life. That was like the was... welcome to the show? Yeah, it was my welcome to the show. Welcome to the movie? And, then, <laughs> and it's like scary being friends with those guys too. I, I, I'm, <laughs> it is, yeah. Oh my God. I mean, they're <laughs> sweethearts, but they will light you up any chance. They're genuinely <laughs> crazy people. They're genuinely and hearing crazy. you say they're crazy makes me think e they're even crazier. Oh, I am, I am like Fisher Price to their Compared to, to them, crazy. yeah. Uh, I was, I got, I'm trendy, so I got Omicron over Christmas. Mm -hmm. And, uh, <laughs> so I got the Tron. Congrats. I'm negative now, I'm not spreading my droplets. <laughs> but I just sat at home and watched Bad Santa over and over again and smoked pot. I mean, what else are we gonna do? So, and Knoxville broke into my house on Christmas Eve. And he, <laughs> on Christmas Eve? On Christmas Eve, he thought he was like, well, I gotta cheer Eric up. He's Did he have toys? He, what? <laughs> he, had, he had toilet paper and an Andy Warhol wig, and he started toilet papering my house. My alarm goes off. I'm stoned by myself, paranoid. <laughs> and I open the window, and my alarm's going off like, Wah! and I, I don't know it's him. So I'm just yelling out the window like, I'm calling the police! I have a gun! I'm calling the police! I have a gun! <laughs> and I'm, I'm terrified and I'm really calling the cops. Oh, you did? Yeah, the cops are on the way. The ADT, the security thing calls the cops for you. <laughs> so the cops are on the way and I'm like, <laughs> I didn't get the gun out just yet, but. And then, I, and then he presses his face, he's videotaping me, which is driving me nuts. And he presses his face against my window and I'm like, who is this guy? And I was like, oh my God, it's Knoxville. And I opened the door. I'm like, I'm gonna kill you, man. I have a gun and the cops are on their way. And he goes, dude, how good publicity would it have been if you had gotten me arrested and shot me right before Jackass comes out? Especially in that order. <laughs> you know what, it's not too late. You still got a couple late. weeks. I got another week. Yeah. Eric Andre, everybody, The Thank Righteous Gemstones, Sundays on HBO and HBO Max. And the Jackass movie. We'll be right back with Damon Albarn. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and I am not allowed to eat this cookie until you click the subscribe button. So please click now. I'm hungry.